What's up, everybody? This is the Broke Youth Pastor. Um, my goal with this tutorial is to uh, help those of you who are in ministry of any form, uh, youth pastors especially, where your budget is very limited, resources are very constricted. My goal is that I can give you um, the resource or some basic knowledge that will help you to reach for excellence even though uh, you don't have the exact resource you need. So let's move on. Um, what I want to show you how to do today is simply create a, a countdown. Um, countdown videos usually kick off every one of my services I do, um, but it's one of those things where uh, you can choose to either download them from YouTube or you can buy them from another site. Um, the ones I find on YouTube typically are just junk. Uh, you usually get a really poor download quality, or you get a, um, or just a really goofy graphic in the background. So I'm not really interested in that. So I just said, hey, how hard would it be to create my own um, background, um, and and then put a, a countdown timer on top of it? Turns out not very hard at all. Uh, so I want to give you some resources here real quick. Um, there's a few places I, I go that are critical to get the, the resources you need. A few websites I'm just going to plug right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser. Um, this website here is motionbackgroundsforfree.com. I'll put it in the link below. Um, and this pretty much gives you access for free, 100% for free, no trials, no signups, nothing like that. Um, you do have to um, create an account, um, but that's it. Yeah. Email address and password and you're, you're good to go. Uh, there won't be any watermark as you see right here. There's a watermark. Um, but they just have a whole bunch of different graphics. A lot of them I don't really care for, but there's a few in here that I really did like. Um, and so you can go in here uh, and check that out. You'll also need a another um, uh, website in order to get your actual countdown timer um, and this is critical this is the best one I found so far you can download chroma keyed which is green screen um, backgrounds or I mean counters uh, off YouTube or you can come here which is freehdcountdowns.com and you can create your own which is just awesome and so you can you know step by step create it it'll put the countdown timer um, right in the center, in the bottom right, bottom left, so on and so forth. You can make it three minutes, five minutes, whatever. Uh, I went with five minutes, and you can um, even, they even have some countdowns you can choose from as well. Uh, free stuff, beautiful stuff, love it, love it, love it. So, um, but this is what I wanted, uh, because I wanted to be able to create exactly what I want, um, exactly how I like it. So let's move on to the grunt work. Uh, you'll come here, you'll get your free motion backgrounds, you'll come here, you'll get your chroma keyed uh, countdown timer, and then you'll need to um, start working on your project. Now, it's okay if you don't have a Mac. Uh, obviously, this is the broke youth pastor um, coming to you for those of you who don't have resources. Obviously, Macs are more expensive. Um, they're better, uh, but they're more expensive. Um, you can do this in Movie Maker, I believe. Um, there is one more website you'll need to go to, one extra step. Um, this is rayhaneffects.org. Um, and there, and I'll have this in the link below, but there you'll need to get another um, little add-on for your Windows Movie Maker in order to move forward with this. Um, so here's the steps. I'm going to give it to you real quick. You'll want to create a new project. So let's uh, kick it over to Project Library, and I'm going to go ahead and new project. Uh, we'll just name this one Countdown for YouTube, and we'll go ahead and create 30 frames per set uh, per second is the industry standard. Uh, actually, it's 24 for most, but we'll go, we'll go with 30. Uh, 30 just fine um, 
So here's what we're going to do. Um, here I have a whole bunch of different motion backgrounds um, right here that you can use. And what's good about these is they typically they loop really well. So what I'm going to do is now that I have my motion backgrounds uh, selected, these are just some of the ones I downloaded. Uh, some of them I really liked um, and they they loop very well, very seamlessly. So I'm going to take one that I like, which is this one's kind of just retro bars going across the screen. Um, going to drag it and drop it. Uh, I'll just select the whole thing, drag it, drop it. Everybody's happy. Um, now what I'll do is I'll go to my countdowns. These are some of the ones from YouTube. I didn't like the, the green screen countdowns from YouTube too much. I don't feel like they really, you kind of have to just work with them quite a bit. I didn't care for that too much. But I'll go ahead and grab what I need. Um, take the whole countdown timer. And I'm just going to drop it right on the video, uh, right at the beginning. And I've got this little tab here that says green screen. Click on the green screen. Notice how this number is messed up. You can adjust it. You can go into your your video settings and adjust your brightness and exposure and whatnot. And you can just work it until it gets just right. Um, that right there is close, so we'll just fool with that for now. Um, and then all you have to do here is... Um, just copy and paste your uh, video just over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and it'll loop for as many times as you want and you can drag out your green screen or you can just um, you can just loop it first and then do it anywho so here's what we got so far I'll bring it to the beginning and hit play so pretty straightforward right um, obviously there's some work that needs to be done. I need to go ahead and drag out and copy and paste the rest of my motion background and I need to drag out the rest of my countdown timer. But that's not it. Obviously you can't have a quiet countdown. Um, and so I'm going to go to this tab right here, which is the music tab, bring up whatever I want. I can throw in uh, whatever music I want straight from my iTunes library which is just a beautiful feature to have in iMovie love it um, so you can go there and grab you know whatever you want Skrillex always good to have some dubstep or something like that in there toss it in um, here's some Daft Punk I don't know what version this is I'm just gonna toss it right on in here and uh, just let it play so uh, and then you can play that and your whole music video is going to work just beautifully for you real easy real simple real painless the hardest part about this uh, for me is the rendering um, when you go here and then you choose to save your project or export it so you can export your movie or whatever in whatever format. Obviously, I like to go with the highest quality possible. It's going to take like 20 minutes to export. I don't know why it just does. Anywho, that's pretty much the gist of it. Obviously, I'm sure I missed some things. I'm sure I messed a lot up, but it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple um, how easy it is. Uh, a lot of the other uh, projects I've worked on, have been just downloading YouTube videos um, from Firefox with Download Helper from YouTube. And you can actually just put your countdown in the corner. Um, that's a little distressed countdown. Um, uh, this is, I think, Al City, one of his music videos. Great, all kinds of stuff. Whatever you want to do, whether it's music videos, um, whether it's motion backgrounds or, or whatever you want to put a countdown timer on. It's really simple, really easy, um, and uh, you can just go from there. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you will, like the video, please subscribe. I've got a lot more coming. My next videos are going to be focused on other resources that youth pastors can use in and throughout their entire ministry. Thanks, guys.